we're going to do a virtual reality pectoralis major muscle flap dissection. And I've already done some of the dissection here, but basically this is the skin paddle that we're going to use. And you can see I positioned it just above the nipple. This is a male specimen. And then we're going to carry that skin paddle on the muscle underneath it. And I've lifted up these uh, skin flaps here to show the pectoralis major muscle. And you can see here that my skin island, my skin paddle is right over top of the muscle, so it should be viable. I did want to point out here, if we look here along the medial aspect, of, right along the sternum, we can see what looks like a blood vessel heading up into the skin. This is going to be an internal mammary perforator vessel. We can see that coming through the pectoralis major muscle and extending into the skin. The pec major can be carried on those blood vessels. Of course, the primary pedicle is going to be the thoracochromial vessel, which is going to be located in this region underneath the muscle. But these are a nice example of an internal mammary. So as I have the skin and muscle coming up as a flap, what I'll do is divide the muscle here along its medial portion. And you can see underneath that, we see the chest wall. So these are going to be ribs and intercostal muscles. And here we see the pectoralis minor, pec minor shown there, all throughout there. So again, in order to get this mobilized, we're going to continue to dissect all underneath the muscle. We're going to go ahead and divide the internal mammary vessel that we saw earlier, which is right here. So we're going to divide that see it heading down into the internal mammary location between the ribs. Now the muscle flap is going to continue to be elevated here from inferior to superior. Now this flap is most commonly used for head and neck reconstruction, at least as a pedicle flap. Now as I begin to dissect more I can see the pedicle of the flap right here. You can see the pedicle of the flap. I'm going to back away a little bit. You can begin to see some of that. And let me switch with you. Why don't you come down here if you could. And I'm going to stand here. So now that I know where the pedicle is, I can divide the muscle out here as it heads towards the humerus. And we can begin to dissect the rest of the flap. And now we can see the blood vessel, the pedicle of the flap right there. Let's divide more of the muscle. There's the pedicle there. That's the thoracochromial vessel. Let me continue our dissection. Thanks, Ralph. That's the thoracochromial. <clears throat> now, once we have it elevated like that, we can actually make it into a complete sort of island. Go behind the pedicle. Now we have the flap almost completely freed up. And if we follow the thoracochromial back farther, we'll actually see the subclavian vessels. So that's the pedicle there. I'm going to lay the knife down. Now we get a good look at the flap. We can see it'll rotate. And we can use this for the head and neck region where we would rotate the flap onto the face. Uh, we could put the muscle as an intraoral defect uh, with the skin paddle out. We could also position it so the muscle is laying like this and the skin paddle is acting as an intraoral, again, or as an extraoral uh, skin island, skin paddle. One final look here, we see the pedicle. That's the thoracochromial vessel. Overall, we usually would close this by simply bringing this back together. Most likely, we would be able to close this primarily, but of course, a skin graft could be used if needed. So there you have it. That's a quick and easy pectoralis major muscle flap used for head and neck reconstruction based on the thoracochromial vessels and shown here with a skin island.